Hi, welcome to the last unit of this course. In the last five units, you have learned the computer technology right from its component, which consists of hardware and software, as well as the operating system. You have also seen how a pool of computers can be connected together to form a bigger network. Also, you are exposed to how technologies is used in education. Now, in this unit, I will discuss computer technologies in social network. So, what is social network? You may ask this question. How do we socialize in this cyber world, just like we do normally in our daily life? What are the challenges and concern of the social media? We will discover all this as we browse through our lecture notes in this unit. By end of this unit, students will be able to understand the overview of computer technologies in social network. The following are the contents of this unit 6. I'll be covering what is social networking, why people using social networking, example of social networks, the influence of social networks, the challenges of social networks, the concern of social networks, and finally, some problems caused by social media. What is a social network? Basically, it is a virtual community or profile site. It used to connect people together, to talk, to chat, to share ideas and interests, to make new friends. In fact, when you talk about to chat, today it's not only confined to people who are on this earth. While you are flying, today Air Asia has got the facilities where you can still chat with your loved one while you are still on the air above 30,000 feet using a Rocky. This type of collaboration and sharing is also called social media. Social media contains contents created by hundreds or even millions of different people all over the world. Let's take a look of a global digital snapshot. This is a statistic as of January 2017. If you see the world population today, it is estimated about 7.4 billion as of January 2017. But as of today, as we do the recording, it's already exceeded 7.5 billion. And internet user all over the world is about 3.7 billion, where active social media user is recorded as 2.7 billion. While mobile subscription, if you see, it's way past the total uh, world populations, it's about 8.8 uh, 8 billion. While active mobile social user is about 2.5 billion. This shows that how people are very much into this social network and to get connected to in touch with their loved ones. What is social networking? When you are involved in social networking, you are likely to have a public profile. You create your own profile some basic info to tell the world about yourself. Your photos can be a website, bio data, location, etc. And you will have more friends and followers. And that's the reason you are here. They are heart and soul of social networking. And home feed to allow users to give a real-time glimpse of everything their friends are sharing. For instance, that you have uh, children who are studying abroad and you want to know what they are doing in a real time. You know, maybe they are meeting your friends, they are celebrating their birthday over there. They can give you the video of the real time, what exactly happened, the moments. And likes and comments allow users to like another user's content and give comment on every type of post. Today, social media has become an uh, uh, important place where people will just pop in to you know, give comment, their views, basically. And you also likely to have groups and texts allow you to find people with similar interests or engage in discussion on certain topics. Some use tagging to let users categorize their posting according to the topic. I mean, what people call as hashtag. You may want to ask this question, why do people use social networks? It's a nice form of entertainment. It helps people to keep connected, as I mentioned earlier. It provides an easy way to find out what everyone is up to each day within their social circle 
you know, they make it, can be miles away. It is a place to find fun and interesting things as friends and family will share many of the same interests. For instance, a holiday, uh, holiday spots where they visited lately or the, the favorite food that they have enjoyed in the local place so that the next time you have an idea where to go so that you don't end up in the wrong place. Why do social networking getting instantly popular? of late. Social networking instantly become very popular because it is unlike the restricted, the traditional way of we have our school, colleges or workplace. Today people can learn from miles away. Just like what you are doing now, you are in MOOC where you are can be from any part of the world but I am here in Borneo and you are learning from here in my very place. It involves millions of individuals who are looking to meet different people to share first-hand information and experiences such as cooking, golfing, gardening, developing friendship, professional alliance, finding employment, business to business marketing, group sharing of information, baking, cookies, etc. And can be anything. I mean, if you have interest in car, you can find out some people who like cars or motorbikes and things like that. Let's take a look of this social networking hardware platform. In this case, I have taken an example of a Facebook. You have a front end and back end. We have a visitors here, you as a an user, and we have a staff here who will be working behind the screen. We have a web server where you store all your data that you have uh, updated on your own space. And we have a back end presentation layer and business data access layer and front end which is presentation layer at a visitor's point. It's amazing that how much data has been stored and the space that it required for still in the uh, Facebook platform. If you look here, we have more than 60,000 servers which is controlling the entire Facebook. The last data center is based on entirely self-designed hardware that was recently unveiled as open compute project. And uh, if you're, talk you're talking about a 300 terabyte of data stored in memcache processors. Let's take a look the Facebook platform, hardware platform. The Hadoop and Hive cluster is made of 300,000 servers with 8 cores, 32 gigabit RAM and 12 terabyte disk, a total of 24 cores. 96 terabyte RAM and 36 PB disks. 100 billion hits, 50 billion photos, 3 trillion objects catch, 130 terabyte of logs every day. The examples of social network. Facebook, probably the most popular social networking website or apps on the internet. It currently has the largest user base. It allows users to set up personal space and connect with friends, share pictures, share movies, talk about what you are doing, etc. Live feeding and things like that, as I mentioned earlier. And some of us, even me personally, I have connected with some of, of my friends who have lost for, you know, 10 years, 20 years ago by just uh, uh, looking for their name. Then we have Friendster. A popular social network that brings together friends, family and allows you to meet new people who share similar interests to you from all over the world. And of course, we have Instagram, a mobile photo sharing service and application available for mobile devices. Okay, and uh, we move on. You also have a YouTube, an excellent network of users posting videos, blogs or blogs and others other funs and exciting videos, Twitters, an online service to allow users to post 140 character long posts from their phones and on the internet. It can be a fantastic way to get pulse of what's going on around the world. Then you have a LinkedIn, an online location to connect with current and past co-workers and potential future employers. We have Bebo, Classmates, Google, MySpace, Orkut, Path, Pinterest, Reddit, Tumblr, Yik Yak, 
and the list goes on. The influence of social networks. Social networks have evolved from simple communication hubs to a veritable agents of change, galvanizing thousands of people over political discourse, creating and changing industries and transforming people's life. The influence of social media is great as over 600 million users on the Facebook, 200 million on Twitter, 100 million use LinkedIn, etc. The, ma the four major areas greatly influenced by social media are politics and public service, marketing and advertising, journalism, business and recruitment. Let's take a look on politics and public service. Social media such as Facebook has become the touchstone for how non-profit organizations, environmental activities, political fractions reach out to thousands of potential volunteers and donors. Twitter has been used by almost every progressive politician to promote their causes. Social networks are no longer limited to political elites. Other people's voice their opinions, share their ideas and even communicate with the politicians in one-to-one -one basis. It has become a technology that all progressive politicians must learn or else risk losing to tech-savvy youth of today. Now, marketing and advertising. Marketing and advertising have transformed from relying on mass market channels to those that must embrace the power of consumer and attempt to engage in conversation with them. In the past, a middleman, usually a reporter, ultimately determined what was written or said. With the widespread of social media, the ability to bypass the gatekeeper or middleman and facilitate direct interaction with consumers and community is very, very important. Journalism. Social networks allow anyone to easily share a link with a large number of people without involving the traditional of media organization. Some news websites already present visitors with a list of stories recommended by their friends because they realize an endorsement from someone you know carries extra weight. Social networks give rise to citizen journalism from traffic updates to natural riots. Anyone who has access to social network site can report his or her version of such events. How about business and recruitment? Almost every credible business has a social presence today. Emerging businesses have adopted social networking site to promote their product, services and gain insightful feedback. It is getting common to see many small or home business operate solely through their Facebook accounts. I have a pool of friends who does online business using a simple tool as simple as Facebook and they have made a lot of money. It has also become a platform to test out their customer service to, for the customer's feedback, to give their comment and how to improve their services. Uh, this is way past the uh, conventional way of getting the feedback, written feedback from them in a, uh, through a mail. LinkedIn has changed how human resource professionals seek potential employees. Uh, you are more visible in this social network rather than in our traditional way where we used to work before. The challenges of social networks. Difficult to monetize. Very few people see ads publicized on social network. In social network, people are not hunting for information but to communicate with each other and self-expressing. As marketers move in, users move out. Untrustworthy member data. Many users submit inaccurate information on their profile. Stalkers and other unwanted activities ruin lives. Child stalker, masking oneself as someone else and readily to fool others. As I mentioned at the beginning of this lecture, a tool, a technology, if used correctly, it can be useful. If, it's, uh, if we abuse, then it can be harmful to us. The other challenges of social networks is string attached to membership, difficult to leave. Leaving Facebook is difficult. There are hooks, saved account and many ways to reconnect to the site. 
even after you have left. Successful networks have hard time scaling. Facebook and Twitter suffers from scaling issues, hence experiencing a great deal of downtime and latency as more and more people are get connected so they are not able to serve everyone efficiently. Loss in workspace productivity, social not working, not social networking, but social not working. Company and organizations are concerned about time wasted in managing social network profiles. A lot of employees are spending a lot of time uh, checking their Facebook account and also other uh, comments from their friends while at work. And this has become a very serious issue in the society. Some companies have banned Facebook from their employees. Well, what are the concerns of social networks? Popular location for online predators. Due to the increased popularity amongst children and teenagers, social network sites can be dangerous sites. Parental control and guidance can be crucial to the children. Privacy violation issue. Too much personal information has been disclosed to social media. Do you think it's good for the world to know about you too much? Where do you go? What do you buy? What do you like? How is my house look like? Do not expose too much information to your social media. That can be uh, a tool for a predator to come in to you. Internet addiction disorder. It has been found that significant number of individuals experiencing some significant impact on their lives. Gaming in social networks has the potential to significantly alter normal functioning of the mind which certainly not good news for teenagers, those minds are still growing. Let's look into some problems caused by social media. First, teens are losing out on the ability to learn and read social cues. They cannot learn to read non-verbal behavior properly. The skills to co of cooperate with others cannot be learned on internet. Teen need to learn how to deal with free times without staring at the screen. Social media create excessive drama. Positive messages are read as more neutral. Neutral messages are read as more negative as they are intended to be. And a lot of uh, messages are simply forwarded from one person to another without verifying the authenticity of the message itself. Teens are getting more sleep deprived because many stay up late texting. Teens lose the ability to interact mindfully in the moment. Even adults do the same thing, which is quite upsetting. The following are the online references for this Unit 6. Thank you. Hi. As a conclusion, what I would like to say is basically, a technology can be useful if you use correctly.